What's up, MB gang? It is Main B here, back with another video for y'all. Let's go. Hey, hey. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's Main B. So, I am back here with another video. Um, I'm sorry that it's taken me so long to record my second video, but I am a, a college student and I am just... I'm overwhelmed at this point. So I try to get all my homework done and then focus on um, what I need to do for y'all. So I apologize. But today I just wanted to talk about um, something that's been really heavy on my heart. Um, and that is the topic of soul ties. Um, so we're gonna get in talking about soul ties today. And I know you guys are probably like, oh my God, soul ties, like why the heck would she wanna talk about soul ties? But it's a topic that is not discussed like it should be discussed. You know what I'm saying? So with, without further ado, let's um, get into that video. But before we get into that, go ahead and comment down below, hit that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can um, be notified and all that good stuff when I post. Um, and also, if you guys want to do me a huge favor and click the notification bell for that as well. So let's get into that. So today, um, like I said, we're going to talk about soul ties and I have, you know, it written down right here. Yikes. I didn't want you guys to see my handwriting. That's why I flashed it. Flashed it real like flash. So <laughs> I'm so corny. But um, so I just have like, I kind of have like five questions. I don't know if I'm going to touch base on them all because they kind of flow into each other. But I'm going to start off with trying to do about five. So um, the first question is the most obvious question, and it's going to be, what are soul ties? What are soul ties, Charmaine? I don't know. What are soul ties? So basically, to elaborate on that a little further, a soul tie is an intimate connection that you have with someone that you are obviously being intimate with. Um, so obviously, if you have sex with someone no matter if you use a condom or not, no matter if you use a condom or not, you are going to have a soul tie with that person. Now, the risk of you getting a soul tie with that person, if you guys don't use a condom or anything like that, is obviously going to be higher. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's you're still going to have a soul tie with that person once you break that barrier into going into the intimacy stages of a relationship. The two, like, how do you get a soul tie? So I kind of touched base on that, like I said, um, would be, you know, being intimate with someone. Um, so say for, <laughs> so just touching, touching base on um, kind of what Love Your Natural was talking about. Um, and if you guys don't know who Love Your Natural is, go look up her page on YouTube so you can figure out who she is. But she really touched base on a lot of girl talk, okay? Some stuff that we really need to know. And she's really kind of, um, she's older than, than I am. Um, I believe she's 30. I'm about to be 21. So it is a lot of, um, you know, things that you might inherit when time comes. So I like, I like listening to her. Um, and basically what she touched base on was saying that God said that we are not supposed to have sex until we are married, you know? So if you guys are religious, then you guys know, you know, God said that we are not supposed to have sex until we are married. But why did God say that? It's a reason, you know, it's a reason for everything. So when two people have sex, what do two people do? They become one when they have sex. Now they're one. You know, they were once two, but now they are one. So now where you were your own person or had your own thought process or anything like that, now you inherit 
that other person's thought process, how they think, um, how they feel. You know, if they are feeling depressed, you might feel depressed. If they are feeling angry, you might feel angry, you know. So it's those types of things that um, go hand in hand with soul ties and how um, they and how they how you get them. Sorry. So um, I'm going to touch base on the third one. Um, how can soul ties affect you? So, like I said, um, with the whole, if you are sad and depressed and all that good stuff, soul ties can also affect you um, by allowing yourself to be manipulated. You know, you can't, or allow yourself to be disrespected, you know, and half of the time you don't know that you're being manipulated or that you're being disrespected, or in half of the time, the other person that's being the manipulator or being the person that's being disrespectful towards you doesn't even know that they're causing that or that they're doing those um, doing those things. And this can be because of soul ties. So say for you're in a sexual relationship with someone, but it hasn't progressed to you guys being boyfriend and girlfriend or anything of that sort. So what I guess they would call an entanglement. <laughs> so an entanglement would require you to have sexual relations with that person, but not have any, um, I guess you can say, um, like rules of a relationship. So usually when you're boyfriend and girlfriend, you guys are strictly boyfriend and girlfriend with each other, unless you guys have an understanding that it's okay to go out and do your do with someone else and he does his do with the, with the other person, you know? so. A lot of people don't have that understanding when they're in an entanglement or just a sexual relationship with another person. They typically have a lot of gray area. So when there's a lot of gray area in place, we typically can't question the other person about what they're doing or who they're doing it with or anything of that sort because that is not our place and it is not our business, period. You know, and we will be a fool to think that it is our place. Um, so... Basically, if that person is telling you, you know, I'm just with you or I'm just, you know, I'm single or I'm doing this, or I'm doing this, but they're requiring you to be only devoted to them or they would think that you would be only devoted to them. That is being very manipulative. You know, you can't manipulate someone into thinking that that's who, all who you are with but you're not wanting to be in a relationship with me. Like that, that, that has never sat well with me. So I don't understand our generation on the whole talking stage and the whole, oh, I'm getting to know this person stage. Like, I just don't understand it whatsoever. Like we either together, we day in or we not, you know? So anyways, that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother day. Um, but yeah, that's how soul ties can affect you. Um, how can you get rid of soul ties? Um, so touching base on what Na Love Your Natural was talking about, um, getting rid of soul ties will require you to basically abstain from having sex. Um, abstain from having sex with that person, previous partners, or, um, you know what I'm saying, just period. Um, because at this point, you now have to become in tune with yourself. Um so be celibate, basically, is what she says. Be celibate. And I'm really taking into consideration everything that she said because that is so true. You really have to um, come in tune with who you are in order for yourself to grow. So um, be celibate. Um, remove any reminders of that person, whether it be a text message, a picture, um, a friend that you guys have in common, like remove all of those aspects that you might have in connection to that person so that you're not constantly reminded and then constantly um, wanting to go back with that person because of your sexual desires. Um, so that's how you can get rid of a soul tie. Um, I don't know if I touch base on it, but I'm going to talk about it again. But number five that I have on here is, can you inherit soul ties from your partner's previous partners? Um, and yes, <laughs> that is so true. Um, it's so true. So basically, say for you and him or him and her or whoever y'all are, 
might have a sexual relationship with each other, but like I said, there's a lot of gray area. When there's a lot of gray area, people can do what they want to do, you know? So they go out, he or she goes out and, and does her do with somebody else and she or he goes out and does his do with somebody else, you know what I'm saying? And then they bring that do that they just did back home and y'all do the do together. <laughs> so when that takes place, those soul ties that they just inherited from that person, they're now bringing it back to you. And now you're inheriting that person's soul ties and so on and so forth and so on and so forth. So um, when that takes place, you really don't want to be in connection with people like that whatsoever that aren't devoted to you or really just giving your body to somebody else that isn't devoted to only you, period. You know, because a lot of times our age group, we're like, oh, he's doing this with so-and-so or she's doing that with so-and-so, so I'm going to do this. Like, we can't continue to give our bodies to all of these people and expect that there's not a consequence behind it. You know what I'm saying? So soul ties are a serious thing and soul ties can seriously have you janked up in the head okay they will have you janked up in the head or jacked up in the head or whatever word you want to use so i would just say do your guys's research on soul ties um please just like don't hesitate to comment down below and let me know what you guys think about soul ties or how soul ties have affected you or how you think they've affected you um so like i said these are five questions that you can ask yourself to determine if you have a soul tie or can determine if, you know what I'm saying, maybe you can stop yourself from getting a soul tie. You know, don't, don't surround yourself with people or with someone that doesn't have um, good intentions with you. So if their intentions aren't pure or if their intentions aren't genuine, go ahead and exit stage left, sis. Um, another thing will be notice the red flags when the red flags are given. Or in another sense, um, believe people when they show you who they are the first time. Don't let them continuously show you who they are and continue to show you who, you who they are. And then you're totally oblivious to, you know, the fact. Because I will admit, in most cases, I have been naive. You know, I've been naive to the point to where this person has showed me their true colors from the get-go. But I chose to ignore that and think, oh... I'm going to change them or, oh, I'm going to do this or, oh, I'm going to do that. When that is totally not the case, you cannot change someone that doesn't want to be changed, if that makes sense. So we just got to kind of love ourselves for, for who we are and we can't expect someone else to, you know, appreciate that. So we have to appreciate it ourselves. So I appreciate y'all for listening. Um, this is just me touching base on what a soul tie is and how heavy it was on my heart. Um, like I said, please don't hesitate to comment down below, like this video, and let me know um, what else you guys would like me to talk about and just, you know, give my feedback on that. So, like I said, I appreciate you. Oh, wow. Anyways, <laughs> I appreciate y'all for um, tuning in and listening to my TED Talk or whatever you might want to call it. Um, I love you guys, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. If she got a nice body, but she ain't want to be touched She just want to love them, baby girl, want to be up